right, so I met up with the rest of the convoy. We got Mitch in the um, N70, got Dan in the 80, and then Max in the N80. Uh, we're heading to Woods Point now, which is about an hour and a half drive from Marysville, which is where we're leaving from. Uh, we're probably not gonna find snow there, but there's a few tracks and stuff around that area, so we'll maybe try to find some of them, and then we'll keep heading up further to try to find some snow, hopefully, for the end of the day. So we just found this random little track on the side of the road on our way up to Woods Point. So we're just gonna quickly hit this. It's nothing too hard, but up ahead here, looks a bit wet and clay. So I'll get out and film the boys just feeding it through. Mitch is up next. Mitch is running 35s, but he's unlocked. And then Max in the N80, which I believe they come rear locked, and he's on 33s. Only about five minutes later after that last track we found another one so we thought we'd hit this one as well they're all pretty simple I don't know if you could tell in that last clip, but basically I was having an issue last time at Cobor where I thought my CV had snapped, but it was a, just the hub playing up. So I took the auto mechanism out of it and now, and then I just used them manually, but, and that was working, but now it's just playing up again. So I basically just did that in three wheel drive. So it was constantly wanting to kick me to the right. It was really weird. So I'll just try and make it through the rest of this track, but film the rest of the boys.
tried to shit spot to get stuck. You're between two trees. You should have held it flat and kept on trying to steer left and right. It, worst case scenario, you'll just be able to back into the ruts there and go up that track, but yeah. maybe try and just start it and go left and right, but I don't reckon you'll find traction. Oh, I've got nothing left it, on the yeah, if you start heading towards that tree, just stop, I reckon. That's twice he nearly cleaned up both trees. <laughs> he just love tapped both trees nearly. Uh, I'll probably take the easy line, one of these ones. So as you would have seen in that last clip as well, um, it's still struggling. Um, I'm hopefully just gonna get to Woods Point where we're heading now um, and then get reception and try find some spare hubs nearby and then hopefully they fix the problem because otherwise I'm gonna be in for a long trip if I've only got two or three wheel drive. Um, you would have seen in that clip that it was sort of losing traction and then when the front left that's still locked um, grabbed traction, it would just throw me right and it was pretty dangerous and just really awkward to drive so hopefully I can get some hubs and fix that and keep going. just made it down to Woods Point it took a little bit longer because we took like a scenic route right by a little river here it's pretty cool um, some of the boys did the river crossing but because I've still got basically two wheel drive I didn't want to bother so I've just set up for a bit of food cooking up some snags and that and then we'll keep hanging heading on probably go another hour or two and then find a camp spot somewhere a bit higher up and get a fire going Sun's out, so it's a beautiful day actually. There's definitely not going to be any snow anywhere near where we are right now.
been filming too much, but basically we had lunch down at that picnic area and then uh, we started heading up towards Mount Selma. Um, there's a campsite, it's like a little hut, sort of 10 minutes from Mount Selma called Bob's Hut. So we're about 15 minutes from that now and hopefully there's no one there and we can just climb the hut in case it rains tonight and get a fire going. We've just pulled up at this hut, Bob's Hut, and it's pretty sick inside of here. They've got beds and everything. I just thought it'd be a little undercover area. Um, but yeah, it's sort of just like a little well-kept well area. Got firewood in here, which we we'll probably try not to use. We'll, we've got our own fucking beds and everything. Table, cooking stuff that no one's really cleaned up after themselves. Yeah, pretty cool. In the middle of nowhere. Just waiting for the rest of the convoy to rock up. They took a slightly different way to me. Car is absolutely filthy. Alright, it's the next morning now, we've all had breakfast and packed up, um, I ended up pulling my hub off and I realised that the um, teeth on the bottom ring that sort of actually cause it to lock and unlock, they're all stripped so I believe that's what's causing it to just keep spinning so rather than going from unlocked to locked it just keeps, it clicks as if it's going to lock but then it just stays unlocked so I'm definitely going to need a new hub, I was hoping it was just going to be an easy fix. Um, which in a hub is an easy fix, but it's just not easy accessible from where we are. So might have to go for an hour or two drive, go pick a spare one up and replace that and keep going. Uh, we're thinking about maybe even heading all the way to Dargo now, um, doing some tracks up that way. But yeah, definitely rate this um, hut too. Bob's hut is unreal. Had a little fire last night, cars warming up, and then the dog was getting a bit of mud on her yesterday. So we just techied these no recovery tracks on the side so that now she's a bit protected in here she's nice and happy everyone's keen to go all right so we've left camp and now we're heading from bob's hut uh, up to jamison so there's a bloke there that apparently has a spare one that i can buy off him so hopefully that fixes it and then we'll sort of be backtracking again to where we are now because um, it's where all the tracks and stuff we want to do but obviously I can't do it with two-wheel drive so a bit of a detour, um, grab the hub, maybe get some groceries and stuff there's a few of us are short on that and then yeah come back out here find some better tracks and try find some snow maybe just on our way to Jamison and we'd only sort of made it 20 or 30 minutes um, towards Matlock and we came across a crew of people with patrols and went up to them and found that they had a spare hub so gave him some cash and now we're on our road again um, when we meet up with the others I'll chuck this in and hopefully it all works and we should be good to go again. Cut it. That hub is all on now um, hopefully that fixes the problem We'll go find a bit of a muddy climb or something to test it out on. And it should tell us pretty quickly whether it is or isn't working. Um, we're going to Jamison still, which there's another one there, which I might buy as well, just that then I've still got a spare with me. Um, so yeah, that's our next spot. But we're back at yesterday's camp spot down near the river, giving Kiki a little stretch. And the other boys should be coming from that way because there's heaps of river crossings that keep going across but obviously I took the inland track so I'll film them when they come back through this. So the boys just rocked up and Mitch is missing a few pieces so I assume they've been hitting the um, water crossings a bit hard and he's lost the bumper and grill.
Jamison at Jamison, had a bit of a feed. Um, I couldn't end up getting that other hub because the bloke wasn't replying. I think he was out of reception or something. So hopefully the one I've got on now just does the job. And now we're heading up towards Mount Buller, uh, which is about an hour of drive. And we might take some inland tracks so that we can find a good campsite and do a bit of four driving tonight. And then tomorrow we're actually going to just pay for a day visit pass um, and do a bit of tobogganing and maybe snowboarding if we can. Uh, just because we don't think we're going to find any snow on the mountains, so may as well just pay and get to experience it a little bit. So that's what, that's the plan at the moment. So I'll pick the camera back up when we had some tracks or at camp. drive from uh, where we were down in Jamison up towards Mount Buller we're taking some of the more inland tracks the whole landscape in here and that around here is just insane it's been heaps of little river crossings not too deep um, but yeah sunsets going down at the moment so we're getting some photos and that but yeah it's been an unreal drive the rest of the driving that we've been doing so far is just really shit roads um, but this stuff's all been real nice so Good to change it up and we're going to keep heading that away because there's some four drive tracks apparently. But yeah, not a bad view at all. I miss myself doing it but there's a pretty steep hill we're at the moment. Not really sure what it's cold but it's not flex or anything but bloody steep so... I had to put the front hubs in so the fact that I made it up means it must be working because there's not a chance I make it up this in two wheel drive. I'm struggling to even walk down it. Probably won't see much with the light bars and shit, it's pretty dark at the moment. pick up on camera but yeah pretty steep climb and now I've got to fucking walk back up it we actually ended up doing a fair bit of full driving but didn't film it just because it's so dark and wanted to get to camp but we've ended up at sheep yard flat sort of an hour away from Mount Buller and it's all to ourselves normally there's heaps of people here got a fire going already everyone's set up temperature's not too cold either so it's going to be another midnight I think <laughs> 